Hello again, everybody. This is the Catholic Esquire. I was not planning on making this video today, um, but in light of the recent news coming out of the Vatican that that evil, wretched, uh, sexually disordered Tuco Fernandez and uh, the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith um, has issued another statement that indicates that priests may uh, provide blessings uh, to same-sex couples. I have to be careful here with the terminology I use. I don't want to get flagged by this platform, but you'll know what I'm talking about. Here's the thing, my friends. I want you to be very careful about this because you're going to hear a lot of opinions on this. My background comes not just from being a, someone who talks about the church all day long, uh, my background comes from someone who has been involved in politics for many years at the highest levels. I know how politicians uh, operate, especially evil ones. I've seen it firsthand. I've dealt with it. And I want you to be careful as to what's going on here. And this does have bigger ramifications for the church as well. Allowing priests to give blessings to these type of couples, this is not, and here's, here's the part that a lot of people are going to miss. This is not a situation where they're hoping that this is somehow going to convert into permitting um, same-sex marriages in the future down the line, at least anytime soon. When you read the document, I'll put the link from the Vatican itself, the Vatican News article uh, to the, um, I'll put a link to that into the comments of this video. You'll notice they go out of their way to make it clear that they're saying, oh, this, you have to distance yourself from the the right of marriage. Don't You can't bless anybody if it makes it look like marriage or if it relates somehow to the marriage right. This is very different. We don't, we're not doing that here. This is just uh, if some people come to you and ask for a blessing, then you're permitted to do that as long as it doesn't make it confusing or make people think you're marrying them. Okay. Why are they doing it this way? This is very important. The modernists, and this is true for ordination of women as well, which is why they haven't gone full bore on this. This was it, this is, was this is a head fake, and I think it tricked a lot of people. So this applies to the issue of women's ordination. The modernists, I think, maybe in the past had some ideas that they were going to change the sacraments. I think they've gone past that now. I don't think the modernists are interested in changing the sacraments anymore. They're not interested in having women priests. They're not interested in marrying gay people. That's not the interest anymore. What they're intending to do here is essentially destroy the sacraments or render them pointless. Remember how the modernist thinks. Sacraments are very foreign to Protestants, to atheists, to... Buddhists, it's very foreign to the New World Order. The sacraments themselves are a problem. The modernists, I think, have now decided that their goal must not be to officially change the sacraments to something that is evil and sinful. Their goal is to simply render them pointless and useless so that no one cares. All right? That's why I say, they don't need to have women become priests. They simply give women all the power and authority that they demand within the church, and they don't need to become priests. Because by making them priests, that actually, in some way, indicates that there's an importance to the priesthood. But the modernist doesn't believe in the importance of the priesthood. They want to destroy the priesthood. And the same thing with the marriage rite. The secular world has already destroyed and rejected the notion of real marriage. We all know that. The church knows that. Uh, the anti-church knows that. And so uh, if you are an anti-church and you're trying to uh, destroy the real Catholic church and turn it into this modernist globalist entity uh, that conforms with the morals and ideas of the modern secular world, 
you don't emphasize the importance of marriage anymore. You simply emphasize the, the importance of relationship, relationship, love, not the sacrament. The sacrament is a total foreign concept to the secular humanist world, and in fact, it's rejected very much so. We can see that now. And so this is the church's effort to conform to the modern world by simply rendering the sacraments pointless. Francis doesn't care if some traditionalists in the middle of Kansas go out and have a marriage, right? He doesn't care about that. Fine, do whatever you got to do. The rest of the world is going to see the church blesses, allows blessings of same-sex couples. And that's all they need. That's all they want. That's all they have to they have to have in order to become relevant and conform this new post-Vatican II church to the real to the secular world. Okay. So don't don't get in, don't get caught up in all these arguments you're going to hear from these professional YouTubers, uh, especially the ones who make a living off of three-hour videos where they make distinctions upon distinctions upon nuance, upon distinctions, don't get involved in that. It doesn't matter if they're, if, if Tuco Fernandez is trying to keep a distinction between marriage and blessing the same sex. Obviously, obviously, if you're blessing two people who come to you together for a blessing together, everybody knows what's going on there. All right. I mean, how often do you know two manly heterosexual men going together to a priest and and just say, hey, can you just bless us together? It's, everybody knows what it, what it is. Everybody knows what's happening. And the modernists don't care if it's not marriage anymore. That's what I'm trying to get across. That's the most important thing here. So please be careful of these tactics and tricks. Uh, even those who are in the conservative world are going to try to highlight this distinction. And, well, there's not technically nothing wrong with blessing a... No, you guys, everybody knows what's happening here. We're smart, intelligent people, and we can see what's happening. Don't fall for the tricks. This is uh, a major, uh, a major problem. It's actually, I think, even worse than any attempt to try to change the marriage right, because we know marriage as a sacrament can't be changed. That's instituted by God, so we know that it can't be changed, and so. Just allowing blessings of people who are in a relationship to be blessed at the same time as a couple, that actually, I think, has more of a devastating evil effect on the, ch on the church itself and ultimately on the idea of marriage, even though they don't touch it directly. I hope this makes some sense. Please feel free to comment. Um, in the comment section and share the video. I think it's important to keep this in mind over the next several days as we're going to hear many, many comments and stories on this. Thanks for listening to this emergency video. Have a great day. God bless.